boxes. Quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Deal. some fascinating games recently. There's a great bunch of people here. We've had some very inspirational games, very emotional games, good tussles with the banker, and a feature that um, I just want to focus on, actually, that they do seem to be very surprised. We've had some amazing reactions when the names have stopped. Some quite quite exciting reactions, really. Uh, Kerry, how many games have you been here for? This is my 19th. 19th. Do you think you'll be shocked when your name comes up? Major shocked. <laughs> yeah, okay. She thinks she'll be shocked. Why? <laughs> I don't want to go yet. <laughs> Kaz, how many have you been? This is my 18th. 18th. Now, Kaz, are you going to be a quiet one or are you going to be a. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. <laughs> Oh, sure. So watch closely. Mary, how many games? 17. 17. You're on the radar, Mary. It could be you today. Oh, no. When it stops and when I say your name, how are you going to react, Mary? <laughs> Here come the names. <laughs> Those arms ready. Prepare your hands because on this Wednesday, yes, it is you, Alex. your game. Hello, sir. Do you please take a seat. Alex Solanke. You said that right. Where's that from? Uh, Hungary. Hungary? Yeah. So tell me about your family. Uh, well, my granddad's from Hungary. Um, about 14 years old, he, he came over to, to England um, in the 1956 revolution, actually. Got shot with machine guns in Austria, uh, flee, fleeing the border. Wow. He was 14 at the time? Yes. Wow. Yes. He left his mum and dad a note saying he's had enough of the country. He wants to better his life, so he made a big decision and came out. All right, and you've got a very nice lady with you, Gemma. Hello, Gemma. Hiya. And you've been going out since you were one. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Technically, yeah. Yeah? We met um, when I was nearly one. Alex came to my first birthday party, but we didn't actually realise till I was 21, and he recognised me in a bar from all those years ago. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Why, you were wearing a nappy that night? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I, oh, well, I wouldn't say that. I reckon I did. But you started asking too many me. to drink. So I did the cool thing and walked up to her and I said, would you like a drink? <laughs> <laughs> I know the manager of the bar. And here we are now, three years later. Good. <laughs> and here is a picture of you. Yeah, that was... Shortly um, after you've had one drink too many? Yeah, that was in Hungary, actually. Um, in my granddad's town, because he's moved back now. That's he good. moved back in 92 with his family. Um, and that was just in one of the local pubs in a little town called uh, Divovania. Oh, Divovania. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, and that's our baby. He's seven months now. Uh, Bo. Bo on a boat? Yeah, so since then we called him Captain Bobo. <laughs> well, you would, wouldn't you? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> now, tell me about this feeling that you have for the boxes. It's strange, really, because 
when I watched the show at home, I, n I never really felt it. Um, but since I've been here, I've just been getting these feelings now and again for some boxes. So what are you feeling about 22? Well, it's a, it's a little bit weird, actually, because that's the amount of games I've done. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I'm going to keep some boxes, um, some of my favourite numbers to the end. I've got a few. But you didn't really answer the question. How do you feel about the box? There is the coincidence that you've played 22 mm -hmm. games and it's box 22 and there happen to be 22 players in a football team and it looks like two ducks going down the river. Mm -hmm. You know, all those really important things. I think as, as we progress progressing to the game, I think I'm going to get more of a feeling for the box. Alright, good. I think I will. Are you happy to start that progression? We can start, sir, yes. Okay. I just need you, please, to confirm that you chose box 22 at random before the game again. I certainly did. Sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. You got a financial target? Not really. I want to go away with some big money, though. Alex, good luck. Have a wonderful game. Thank you. Feelings, guys? Come on, mister. Who are you pointing at? Give me a nice penny. Craig. King of Worthington. 16. Right, come the on, King Craig. of Worthington. Yeah, King of Worthington. Not Good Worthington. Luck, Worthington. 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 Oh, oh no. no! That's what you had yesterday. Yeah. Not a good start. Setting there. Fair enough. Wow. Chipped. We'll go with you, babe. Oh, oh, can we carry on with chipped nails? <laughs> I think so. And you've had massive boxes. Massive. She's got huge boxes time and time again. Mm. That's why we're going to go with her. <laughs> Are you really? Seriously. Let's get this blue. All right, then. Come on. <sighs> 75,000, quarter million, 75,000. Done, I mean. done. Because you always do this. <laughs> Don't believe it. Wow. That is actually the second worst way to start. You just do them in the opposite order. Definitely. Top of the game. In the first two boxes. And you're the guy who's meant to be able to be touchy feely with the boxes. Need to turn this around now. You need a new battery. Definitely. Come on, mate. Come on, Alex. Let's go with you, Mike. Number three. Mike, keep him out of the Hall of Fame. If this is 75,000, this is just record-breaking disaster. Good luck, buddy. Top guy. Not a good start. We've seen people come back from bad starts. Yeah, definitely. Mary? The lovely Mary? Lucky seven or is it a blue? What do you think? Blue. Let's go for it. Blue for you. Blue for me. Come on. Thank you. That's fine. That's fine. Everyone's radar is not working there. Oh dear, you've created a very jumpy atmosphere here. Angela. Crumbs, it's gone very quiet here, Angela. Could you uh, cheer things up? Good luck, Alex. The 1P, that's the balance you desperately need in this game. 1P. Two big ones. God, that was really a bad crash at the first corner, wasn't Definitely. it? Wow. Word. And I think up to that point, he probably, yeah, I think he probably was very frightened of you. And then you did that. Hello. <laughs> I'd, I'd be laughing if I was him. <laughs> oh, bank. 
Bianca says, Hi, Gemma. Hi, Bianca. Do you want a drink? <laughs> <laughs> I know the manager of the bar. <laughs> it's him. <laughs> In fact, I own the bar. <laughs> yeah, Alex, Alex is here with the most amazing start. It, it, very difficult to recover from that situation, he says. He, he felt the the energy mm. dissipate. He felt it all go whoosh out of the dream. He, he thinks it's going to be very difficult for you to come back from that. <laughs> no mind games. That's what he's promised, because when you have such a ghastly opening start, there's no need for him really even to try. Mm -hmm. He'd like your box, of course. 500 pounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> 500 quid. I'm ready for the question, sir. 500 pounds, deal or no deal? No deal! No! Right. Now the big turnaround. Big turnaround about to happen. Let's go with a newbie. Hello. Hello. Where did we get you from? Hoddesdon in Hertfordshire. Hoddesdon, you had to think about that. Yeah. Rye House. That's it. Oh, you used to go karting there. So did Lewis Hamilton. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I went the wrong way round. <laughs> Peter, good to have you with us, and uh, you can see the scale of the problem. We need a complete turnabout. Alex, I hope it's a blue for you, mate. Fifteen grand. Fifteen thousand. You are besotted with rents. Lovely Emma. Do you want me to open box here? Definitely. You ready? Number six. Go One on. Key, yeah? Go yeah, on. go on. Get a kiss out of it. That's what I've been aiming for. Oh, oh. Yeah, it would. It was done with a flourish. 15,000 followed by 20,000. I think we need a bit of a quiet moment now, just while we work this out and see whether or not uh, you can change your fortune. Um, could you please encourage the nation to return to what at the moment is a demolition derby? What about a bit of Hungarian then? Yeah, why not? Granddad teach you anything? Yeah, definitely. Go on, let's go. Yeah, take me some, man. Up the hard, I'm not aimless. That'll do. Okay. What exactly did you say to them before the break? I said, come back because I'm going to have one of them three rounds there. Good man. Excellent. So you are back. This is Alex Solanke. He is the taxi driver from Blackpool. And he wants help to lady into her house with shopping. And she had a baby as well, didn't she? Yeah. You, he got out of the cab. I mean, you think of the number of cabbies who just do absolutely nothing for you. Gets out, shows the ladies to her house, helps her with the shopping, the baby and whatever. And her husband went for him with a hammer thinking he was having an affair with her. <laughs> That's right. I shouted on the taxi driver, on the taxi driver. And his wife said as well. He said, don't leave him. He said, there's nothing going on. God, I must remember so that. that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I ran back into my cab. Oh, I better get a cab then. <laughs> right then. Once a go. Oh. Carl, my new mate. Oh, yes. Thank you, Carl. I hope it's a good one for you. Thank you. Well, there's something definitely going, <laughs> something definitely going wrong here. Definitely. <laughs> It's just like some energy force has been turned off and all red round. That was not the blue as you both predicted. Hello. It, it's, it's sensational because honestly, he was so accurate. I mean, I would say 75, 80% accurate in his predictions with the boxes. And it is as if the energy force has been turned off. 
you don't feel for Alex. You don't. You don't have that sort of sympathy. Oh, he says he does. All right, well, the good news is you did keep the top three in place, okay? That's what he's saying. He described that as the good news. Yeah. Bad news, obviously. The bottom three are still in place. Yeah. Uh, and it was an all-red route. But he's going to go up. Uh, he started at... Um, 500 pounds, and uh, he's now valued the box at 545p. <laughs> it is one of those games we actually got to dig deep and laugh. Mm. Alex, you've got a lot of blues to hit, and there's three big amounts of money in that board. A lot of blues to keep them. Hit. Yeah. Need to keep them in. Ready for a question, Mr. Edmonds? I like, I like the respect, but don't feel the need. 500 pounds and 45 pence, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Right. Let's just run through the boxes that I'm going to keep for a while, just in case I, you know, eventually pick them. One? Definitely one. Okay. It's uh, my mum's birthday. 12, I think I might keep that one as well, it's mine. Um, Gemma's birthday's on the 14th. Um, so 1, my, 14, 12. Yeah, my nana's, my granddad's. Right, you're going to keep those? Yeah, going to keep them for okay. a while, I think. That Hopefully Gemma? there's something in them. Right then. Alex, how about hitting them with some energy? Speed yeah. round. Quick one? Quick one. Do you think so? Speed round. Yeah. Oh, we've not, oh, we've not had a speed round for a while. Oh, we haven't. I can't remember the last time we had a speed round. It's a good idea to think of the numbers first, otherwise it turns out to be pretty much like any other round. <laughs> yeah. Could be the three big ones. It could, couldn't it? Be positive. Stay Definitely. positive. Definitely. Right, let's go for the speed round. Claire, 17. Come on. Open it. Open it, open it, open it. Yeah! yeah! don't realise what you've just done. What have I just done? Besides picking three blues? Right. So it was an all-blue round. No one in the history of Deal has ever taken in one round 1p, 10p and 50p. <laughs> Please have a drink. Thank you. For so long, it's been called the elusive round. <laughs> the perfect round. The three lowest boxes. If ever you needed proof, the deal can just suddenly change. And for a horrible moment, I thought you were going to kiss me. He's had, he's had, in his time, he's had some horrible quickies, but that is the worst ever. <laughs> you can't believe what you've just seen. And he had time for a kiss in the middle of it. I'm not going to be in his portrait, tell him. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, we've, we've popped up a bit. <laughs> just a bit. Yes, 500 pounds. With six grand in front. Yeah. You just decide to do that, you select the correct boxes, and all of a sudden, at last, you're in control of the game. Thank you, Mr. Banker. Very nice offer. Very nice. Uh, I'm ready for the question. £6,500, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Where shall we go? I don't know. <laughs> Hello. Yes. 
that was predictable. Alex, plenty of thought. Take your time. He doesn't like it when you trust your instincts and rush like a madman. Ah. Take lots and lots of time. Don't feel the need to rush. You okay. know, no one's in a hurry today. Please. Slowly, gently, badly. <laughs> yeah, half frighten the banker. Yeah, I'm going to go with you, Ryan. Number nine. Okay, Ryan, you seem to be in. Good luck, mate. Please, please. Come on. Come on. of us left up with a £10. Be nice. I'm trying to picture the boxes and what's in them. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Mm, definitely. Definitely. What do you think, Mark? I don't know, really. It's, it's hard, isn't it? Because if, if I say, like, a box and it's 75 grand, I'm going to be in trouble, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Who's he? <laughs> Is he? Where did he come from? <laughs> He's a future brother-in-law. Is he? <laughs> Hey, uh, Gemma's brother. Next door neighbour as well, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Keep an eye on him. Show sure he's looking after her. <laughs> right then. Yeah, we'll go with you, Anita, number 13. Okay. Thank you, Anita. Come on, make it a blow. some thinking time. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I mean, this is amazing. I don't think we need to entice people to come back for any reason other than the fact this is one of the most amazing turnarounds uh, in months, if not this year. You've taken out something like 15 quid or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely nothing. It's peanuts that you've removed from the game. And at last, you flipped it over. Advantage you. Another blue now. Big advantage, Alex. Come back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. drive from Blackpool and uh, what's the headlines? It was a disastrous start, two biggest in the first two boxes and then motored through the blues but didn't just sporadically collect them. You just sort of did them in order. If this is £50, I think you've created something totally unique. Number four, the lovely Kerry. Okay, Kerry, away we go, please. Best of luck, Alex. You're there, you know, you are there having created just one of the most amazing turnarounds. Because, let's be, let's be honest, it really was looking horrible. Oh, that's lovely. A 5-3 split with three of the power five. Hello. Unbelievable, says the banker. I don't believe it. <laughs> Fifteen pounds sixty-one in part two he took, was it? <laughs> and you'll be in the Hall of Fame forever for that. How? Really? The odds are beaten are about three million to one, he says. That is amazing. You're in the Hall of Fame forever. Fifteen pounds sixty-one. Privileged. <laughs> Okay, it's official as far as the banker is concerned. That is the most extraordinary turnaround he has ever seen. You are game number 1167. So that's quite a statement from him. He wasn't expecting after that start to have to offer you anything over £5,000. And now it's £15,000. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's just put that.
uh, in a perspective. In the next round, you could, of course, have a disastrous round. Yeah. In which case, you ain't going to see 15 grand again in your life. No. But if you continue with this most astonishing run of good fortune, <laughs> what's the next offer going to be? <laughs> Even if I did have the worst round ever, I've got that 10,000 and 1,000 as a backup, but be pretty I don't think by then. Yeah, but I don't have to be highly unlucky to do that. So I'm ready for the question. 15,000 pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. In gameplay terms, it's a magnificent turnaround. I have to say, suddenly the whole place is filled with confidence. We think you can do it, Alex. Let's go with number five, Rio. If you go away with one of the big ones after that disastrous start of taking both of the big ones, uh, we're going to be talking about doing an Alex. <laughs> Rio, get him into the folklore. Give us a blue. Good luck, Alex. Cheers, mate. See, that's one of those boxes where, because it's the first one in the round, yeah. I don't think you can assess the impact of it until you know what the other two are. Yeah. But if you take two blues now, 50 quid and 250, mm -hmm. that wasn't bad. Let's go with you, Shaz. Number 20. Oh, he's been looking at you. He's been looking at that box. You've really been chewing this one over. Yeah. Oh, I hope that has not been magnetically drawing you for the wrong reason. Good luck, Alex. why you were drawn to it it's got fifty thousand pounds in it yeah ten thousand is now significant wow. yeah i think i'll go with you andrew number 10. all right here we are good looks relix go on andrew We talk about the thousand being the honorary blue, but in this situation, three reds is three reds. Yeah. And it's not what you wanted. No. But, look. 35,000, 75,000. Either of those in that box, you go away. Yeah. Very nicely set up for a long time. Hello. Not as disastrous as you would have liked. Yes? All right, well, that's good news. He's going to do his best to buy the box from you now, okay? Quote, you've done incredibly well to get this far. Don't push it, Alex. Unquote. £10,000. you're getting a bit of, bit of recognition there for how tortuous this has been. Yeah. I've got a feeling about my box, though. I have. Alex, we've missed out twice in two the last two games prior to your one. We've missed out on the 75,000. Yeah. So maybe it's third time lucky and it's yeah. in your box. Yeah. It is a really good offer, though, I must admit. Alex, is 10,000 what you come for? Or did you come for a little bit more? I come for a little bit more, to be honest with you. Yeah. But it's, it's a lovely offer. Instinct. I must admit, it's really nice. I've never seen that kind of money before in my life. Yeah, it is a good offer. So, just follow your instinct. Mm. My heart's telling me to go on, but my brain's telling me to stop. Alex, usually in this situation... I don't want to put it down on it, but you might take out one of those reds. Yeah, definitely. If you got on the final offer, do you reckon you'd get £10,000 if you only had the 35 left? And the £50, say? Yeah. I don't think you'd get near that 10 again. And you'd I'm have to go sure. all the way then. Good point. <coughs> not sure what, what 
like that. But you like a gamble, don't you? I do. I do. Well, if you have an order around, guaranteed 35,000. <laughs> I don't, I can't say it better than you said it yourself, because yeah. I, I, I know you and I know that in your heart you mm. would go on. Alex, what would you say if it was somebody else sitting there? I'll sit there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. Mm. <laughs> don't want Alex, what should I do? I think you should go for it. Ask me the question. <laughs> Ten thousand pounds, deal or no deal? <laughs> it's an echo. Ten thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Oh, yeah. away with a massive sum of money this is officially the biggest turnaround we've ever ever had 1 14 12 18 where are you going first let's go with Charmaine number 18 Charmaine good luck Let there be 75,000 right here. Rob. Number 14. And if it goes wrong, well, it's not good. It's not going to go wrong. It's not going to go wrong. Cost the follicles, yeah? Yeah. Not going to go wrong. But we are right on the knife edge. Believe it's not going to go wrong. Pull the seal, please. Sorry, Alex. It's all right. That is so cruel. That is so cruel. Car on the next one. Keep the 750. 550. Number 12. Car, Ronnie, give me 50 quid, please. Right Two. through the middle. 50 quid or 750. Wow. Chuckle, 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 that a man from Blackpool would have the biggest roller coaster we've had. Mm. 300 pounds. Mm -hmm. 300 quid for all that effort, all that emotion, and raw courage. Do you want the question? Uh, yes. 300 pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Well, the taxi driver's given us quite a ride. I hope that this is going to be a meaningful tip for you at the end. I really, really hope it is. No. no it was a game of three parts. A shocking start, a fantastic, uplifting centre, and then a ghastly finale. Dicky, close it, kill it, put it away. 7.50 there. Alex, I don't know what to say. I, don't, I really don't know what to say. Well, it's, that's life, you know. I hope I'll do something else better and, you know, maybe something else will work out good. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Alex, you can feel the disappointment there. Uh, he's holding a lot of emotion in. And why wouldn't he? Because, believe me, I cannot recall greater 
change his emotion in the Dream Factory. I really can't. Wouldn't that 